What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's the 24th of May. We're taking a look at turbo slash tether. So our ticker symbol for this will be T-U-R-B-O-U-S-D-T. This will be the turbo slash tether pair. Daily chart. This will be OKX as the exchange here where we're getting our price data from. This thing has been on an unbelievable tear. I've been seeing a lot of it in the comments. Cover tear. I should have bought excuse me, co cover turbo, I should have bought turbo, et cetera. Should I exchange my, you know, X into turbo, whatever the case is. Let's talk about it, guys. I want to start off by saying this thing has been on a huge run and I think it's extended. So I think it's, it's gone parabolic and I think it's going to experience a pullback here, if not already started today, as we are reversing off of the highs for the day. So let's jump into it. Welcome to the channel, guys. We're going to check out Turbo. Let's go. This thing has been on a huge run. So let's go back to the date of the 1st of May. Okay, it's a Wednesday. 24 days ago from the bottom of the 1st of May to the top tick today, which is the 24th, 523%, guys, in less than a month. 500 and 23%, assuming you owned it at that price down there at 48.09. And um, let's see, well, where we're currently trading at, you're at 450%. So this thing is down quite a bit off the highs today. Do you think it's going higher? Should you sell your Aerodrome, your Arc Block, your Pangolin, your Cryptex, whatever the case is, should you sell it and pile in to Turbo? Well, in my opinion, I don't think I would be doing that. And the reason is, is because the price has gone straight up, straight up. It's gone parabolic. The odds of it continuing to go parabolic here, are they possible? Well, they are, but they're not sustainable, which means you might experience a day or two of prices continuing to go parabolic, maybe another 50, 100 percent. But then it's going to quickly come back down and probably go well below where you got in if you bought something. You know, for example, at today's price right now, 26,763. Let's take a look back real quick. Prices go parabolic here. Okay, this is back in February. Prices go straight up for, uh, let's see, that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten days, something along those lines. They hit resistance. They get volatile and they end up kind of consolidating for a couple weeks, if not longer. Let's take another look back here at Turbo. We have a back in December of 2023. Prices go parabolic for, you know, a week or so, week and a half. Things get choppy. They consolidate. Let's take another look back here. Back in the, uh, the early days, you know, big sell off sideways went parabolic. So. This thing has a history of doing what? It has a history of going parabolic, creating a base, going parabolic, creating a base, going parabolic. This might have be this might be one of the bigger, I didn't check this before, one of the biggest parabolic moves. So, you know, that would even be more of a concern for me. So would I be stepping in personally and buying this right here? I would not. I would at least wait for some kind of a pullback, some kind of a consolidation. And we're going to get into some price levels where I would look to, you know, perhaps accumulate this, not financial advice, guys. So let's take another step back here, guys. My So let's say we were right here on this move. I'm going to keep the arrow right there. You know, we're down there at the, basically this price would be like the 3305 level. And, you know, hey, I'm saying, you know, to everybody on the channel here, to myself, look, I have some upper targets. I'm looking for a big breakout to the upside. Where can I look for higher in price that the price is most likely going to get to, um, you know, at some point in the near future? I don't know how long it will take to get there. But based on what the chart's telling us, the price could easily get to these levels. Well, for starters, we would be looking for prices above the all-time highs. So that would have been uh, 
seven four eight nine seven four, and that that high going back would have been the 9th of December. Well, I would have been able to get a price up there at nine five 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 ninety ninety five fifty five for number one. Number two would have been one twenty five sixteen. That's these two white lines. One twenty five sixteen ninety five fifty five. Here is the numbers on the right hand side, so you can see those what those price levels are. Well, we went parabolic in a couple days here. We hit the ninety five fifty five. Got a little bit volatile around it, pulled back, rallied up again, hit the 125.16. Got a little volatile, then started to pull back. My price targets would have been hit perfectly, and you know there would have been no other reason, in my opinion, to look for prices going higher than the 125.16 at this period of time. Let's fast forward to where we're at today. We have a consolidation that started to take place on the uh, 11th of March. We have a bottom over here that took place on the 1st of March, uh, March and May, March and May, 1st of May, and then we went parabolic. So let's take a step back a couple days, okay, because I didn't have these prices on the chart before this morning. I have looked at this chart recently, but I have not had any prices on it. I have not covered it here on the channel. So this is the first video of Turbo. Well, I would have had two prices here. So if we can go back before these prices were obviously hit, this is the prices I would have had. 157.65 right here in blue. That would be target number one. Target number two would have been uh, 202.32 right up here. 202. 32 for target number two. Now you're saying, well, the price is way higher than your target. You're right. The price is on a percentage return here. What does this look like? So the price currently went up 47% higher than my price. And it's currently at about 34% higher than my highest price. So for me personally, I would not be buying this right here. Could I be wrong? Eh, of course I could. Because the likelihood of the price actually going back down to this 202.32 is very, very high, in my opinion. I think we get a pullback at least close to that level here. Maybe it starts today. We'll see. Maybe it takes place into the holiday weekend. But I don't personally have any higher targets right now. This would have been my highest target from, the, from this big consolidation. And what would have this looked like roughly um, about 300 plus percent target to the upside. So if we could take a step back in time, perhaps back to this time here, you know, the, the end of mid April, we could have gotten some, we could have said to everybody here on the channel, look, I have some price targets for turbo, you know, 200 to 300 or so percent higher than where the all-time high is. And look, that's where I'm looking for the market to head to. And fast forward, we would have been right. We got a slight pause here at the first 15,765. And then we actually blew right by the 202.32 level. So what I'm looking for here, at some point, you know, maybe it starts today as we are reversing off the highs. I'm looking for price to actually come back um, at least to this 202.32, perhaps a little lower, uh, 15.765, if not close to one of those. So that's what I'm looking for right, right now. Could the price go up a little bit from here? Yeah, sure, it could. You know, but I, I still am going to stick with my guns here, and I think the price is going to at least have some kind of pullback, probably getting back to the 202.32 level. Now, what would that look like from where we're currently trading on a, so about a 20, call it a 25% pullback to the 202.32, which would be my level number one. And then we have a, about a 42% pullback to the 15.765. Is this possible? Let's take a look back in time. So 
this last rally here, when we actually hit up to the um, above the 125.16 from the highs back to that zone was a 15% pullback. And then from the highs back down to the 95 95.55 level, that was a 30, uh, 35, we'll call it, percent pullback. So from the highs, where we're currently at, roughly right about there, could you get a 33% pullback, 32% pullback? History says you can. About a 40 plus percent pullback. History also says you can, because from the last consolidation, from the last high here to the bottom of this move, from this consolidation period, you basically went down 68% from the highs. What would that look like from where we're currently at? A 68% move lower is going to put you roughly right back down to the 95-55 level. Am I saying we're going to go down 67 68%? No, I'm just saying I think we're going to be at some point here in the near future back down to 202 32, if not 157, 67. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Guys, congratulations if you've captured this unreal parabolic move here. And like I said, I I would have been very happy if I, one, was long this and captured it up to the 157, 67, let alone the 202, 32. I mean, that's a 500% move, guys. Incredible. So we'll see. We'll see how much higher it goes. If you think Turbo is going higher from here and you totally disagree with what I'm saying, let me know. I understand how the market psychology works. People want to chase green candles. I get it. You hold a project that's not moving. You're seeing other projects moving double digit, triple digit percentages in a day, a couple days, a couple weeks. You want to jump on board. The reality is... Yes, you can catch some of that move. You got to be quick. There's a lot of luck involved. The odds of you catching that are pretty slim. The odds of this continuing to just go straight up are much less than the odds are of it going sideways, if not down, back to these important price levels. And 202.32 is one of those levels. So... You know, not to be a downer here, just to, you know, try to stay in reality of what's, you know, what's the odds here? What are the odds tell us that are most likely to happen? Most likely we're going to get a pullback here. Then we are continuing straight up another, you know, 500% or whatever the case is. I could be wrong, of course. Could be wrong. Just... The same rules I follow with the rest of the markets, you know, I'm just looking at turbo as the same. So would I consider buying it once we get back down to one of my price levels? Well, that's a different story. That is a different story. That would be, that would, I, I could tell you this, it would put me in a more comfortable position, you know, risk wise than it would be buying at the top of a huge move. Guys, thanks for watching. If you are not yet a subscriber, Go ahead and join us here on the channel. Appreciate it. All links down below it does help support the channel. One more thing I want to show you before we wrap this video up here this Friday morning, morning, 408 a.m. on the East Coast. If you take the swing high here, all right, you take the swing low. I want to show you this, okay? This is the Fibonacci levels. Check out what the fibs say right now based on the swing high. Based on the swing low, the Fib levels tell us that the 1618 Fibonacci level at roughly like uh, 31087, look where this move came up to. Very, very close to that level. So we're also getting a confirmation from some very important numbers called the Fib levels, the Fibonacci numbers, that this move is probably extended for at least for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you down in the comments. Have a great day.